Hi everyone, welcome back to Project Reactor Essentials. Let's continue the mono topic and now we are going to see a different version of the subscriber. So just copy this entire test because we are going to reuse and we are going to call it a uh, mono subscriber consumer. So the mono it uh, has these operators as we saw here log but what we are going to take a look at now is the subscribe method. The subscribe method has different options. So you see that we have consumer, we have error consumer, we have complete consumer, uh, subscription consumer, and so on. So let's take a look at the one that only asks for the consumer. So when we have this consumer, we can execute an action at the moment we are subscribing. So for example, I would like uh, when I subscribe, I will get a value back. This value is a string. And this string, I would like to just print the log. So for example, log info, and then um, we can tell here value, this string. The test will keep the same. And when we execute this, we can see here that we are uh, printing the log. So value, it's uh, William Swanee. So this is the first method overloaded of the subscribe. It means that we can apply actions over the, the value that we are going to receive from this subscription. Now we are going to check the second one. So we have mono subscribe consumer, and now let's call mono subscribe consumer error okay so this one let's imagine the following scenario we have this mono just and we are uh, going to send an error so let's imagine that at the time we are getting this uh, going to publish this name something bad happened and for that I'm going to use a different operator called map so map if you go here inside you will see that basically can transform the item that's being emitted by this mono. So this is going to be a synchronous, oh sorry, synchronous, is going to apply this synchronously. So I want to get when we have this name, I would just throw new runtime exception and testing mono with error. So remember from the, the first class that everything here should be a uh, string of data, including the error. So now we have this and uh, another option would be to use mono.error. So basically this, you are creating a mono that won't publish any value. It would just return an error. It's useful when uh, you just want to return or something bad happened. You just create a mono with error to return to your subscriber. So how do we test this? We have this subscribe that's logging the, the value. We can change this to name. And we can just put some comma. And here, as you can see, we have another consumer. So we have a couple options. We could, for example, just get and log this error. For example, uh, something bad. Happened. And then, well, we have to test. And to test, we can just expect error. And to keep things simple, we can expect error from the runtime. Uh, exception.class and here we have to change to verify. Let's see what's happening. You will see that uh, we will get two exceptions because we are calling subscribing twice. And uh, you can see here that we have uh, the separation and this is the first part. So on next and then we have this uh, value William but we don't have the error here. Let's get the error, log.error, something bad happened. I'm executing the wrong method. 
There you go. So something bad happened and uh, we don't have anything uh, here because we are not uh, printing anything. We are subscribing, but we are not uh, using the consumer to, to print this. So subscribe on this doesn't have this. That's why we are not seeing it twice. In the previous ones, we are seeing twice the logs because we have the operator at the publisher level. So uh, we have another option, for example, let's say that you would like to, to print the stack trace. It's always a good idea for you to handle the errors because since the things are happening asynchronously now, you don't know what's happening until you see the error. So you can also get the print stack trace. And you have the first one, something bad happened. And then you have here the entire stack trace. So it's a good practice to have this uh, error handling here. And uh, the next one, well, let's stop for now. And uh, in the next video, we are going to check the next one. So see you there. Bye.